Hello everyone, today we are going to do another anime. Uh, we're going to do the same thing I did with Zetman and Excel World and talk about two animes that I uh, saw at the same time and basically came out at almost at the same time. Yeah, whatever. Uh, okay, and the, what we're going to start off talking about is Codebreaker. Codebreaker, yes. Definitely, Codebreaker. Codebreaker is... <laughs> oh, God. Codebreaker is like a combination of... <laughs> Yu Yu Hakusho, in terms of action. Um, no, in terms of group, actually. Yeah, group and action. Uh, <laughs> uh, Lelouch of the Rebellion and Death Note, in terms of personality. Or, in terms of concept, I should say. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry to laugh. Uh, I just have to because of that it's like it's like if um Death Note and was an actual uh, action action anime slash manga. <laughs> yeah, generally that is really what it is. <laughs> and it's Yu Yu Hakusho because the group just seems like it. It's it's loose shit of rebellion because you know Death Note and loose they b b b screw it they go hand in hand you know. <laughs> um, anyway, about the anime, uh, Codebreaker is about this uh, group uh, organization called Codebreaker that um they uh, go around and stop evil, quote unquote. I say quote unquote in terms of them uh, because they say. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, evil for evil. And, well, evil for evil uh, represents uh, them because they think that um, no matter if you're good or evil in, in a way, you're, you're really evil in the end because killing's a bad thing, hurting's a bad thing, doing the stuff that anyone does is basically a bad thing if you're not trying, if you're not really making peace by being a peaceful person, so... Yeah, they don't really talk about peace, but nah, I'm just saying. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, what else? Codebreaker. <laughs> I gotta laugh. I, I just I just gotta laugh. Um, there's some characters in there that remind you of those three animes. For example, there's one guy who looks like Nier but acts nothing like him. But he's smart. He's really smart, just like near near. He really is. And um the main character I, I, again, like I said, I forget names, not good with names. But the main character though, he's a <laughs> He um looks like uh Light Yagami and Lush at the same time. He does. He does. I ain't gonna lie. He does. I found that really funny. <laughs> yeah, and he and he's uh, and he uh, sort of acts like him, like him too. He doesn't take crap from nobody. I wouldn't say he's exactly smart, but um, uh, yeah. Uh, but other than other than the fact that there's organization that stops evil by in uh, what they think being evil, um. They, uh, there's this, uh, guy who used to be in the group, he was their leader, and he, uh, um, he turned, it's just horrible, he, he turned, uh, bad, not a, uh, uh, in terms of the way they think, because, um, um, later on he learned, the guy learned that the group that they're in is basically corrupted. Um, in some way, they don't care about about them, uh, the people of of Codebreaker, um, the ones that actually go out and do the stuff, the people that are inside behind the scenes giving them orders, they don't care about the people with the powers. Um, I'm not gonna say exactly how because that'll be giving away the plot, but um, yeah, and so he decided to take things into his own hands by. Uh, basically trying to destroy that group even though his friends and basically family is in there <laughs> and he he just doesn't care it's like join me or die <laughs> really that's all it is 
and they're, uh, uh, the people of Cold Breaker are trying to stop him, even though eventually they will uh, see how uh, bad that they are of the group that they are in. And uh, things like that. But they still need to stop him because, like, like I said, he's evil, so he got he, uh, to be stopped, even though he's like their leader and things. Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, pretty cool. People in there have special ability, abilities, and uh, and things like that. I know this is probably going to be a bad review, but you know what? Whatever, man. I'm giving you the, the gist of it, not the whole entire um thing. Uh, but here's something else, though. There's this one girl that's in there, and uh, she joins them by default. I say by default because she ends up really trying to find, uh, figure out this guy, the main character, and then all of a sudden gets ca she gets caught up in all this other stuff, and they think that they have to kill her, but they don't kill her, they just make her join in things. She's not really important, at least I don't think she is. <laughs> She's just there, just because and stuff. Uh, so yeah, but really, the uh, anime makes you sort of think about what is evil and what is good in the end. What is your true intentions in in uh, things like that? It's kind of sort of psychological in a way, but not really. It's mainly action. Anyway, guys, um, just like the other anime reviews, I'm going to play a song from there, either the opening or the ending, but I'm going to play the ending because I like the ending better. The opening is just bad, in my opinion, because of what, it's it's okay, but it's, it's I think it's bad because it doesn't really, like, give a, give a oomph as the ending does, as it should, with an anime like this. Uh, so yeah, hope you guys enjoy and check out the anime, it's cool. Later. Show up and meet